is Chef Dylan from the Sushi Hi. School and SushiRobots.eu. We've been helping businesses set up in the sushi trade for the last 12 years and for that we've used a lot of different types of machines. Now, today we're going to show you the RM401AG, which is this little baby. This is to wash the rice. Not just to wash the rice, but it does three very important things. First things, it stocks the rice in there. Up to 80 kilos. Up to 90 kilos. 90 kilos. So four and a half bags of 20 kilos goes in there. So if you're in a small kitchen, this actually doesn't take space for you because it's only one square meter, not even. I think it's 80 centimeters wide. Yeah. And you stock 90 kilos of rice in a controlled environment with the, um, with the humidity. So this is really good. Secondly, it washes the rice for you. But before it washes the rice, it actually knows how much to weight. So you can choose to clean three kilos of rice, but if you want to do more, 3.5, 4, 5, up to 7.5 kilos of rice can be washed at one time. Now, the machine automatically calculates the amount of cooking water you need for the rice, and this is Basically, well, sorry. It's one of the most important things is the cooking water. If you get this wrong, your rice is going to be wrong anyway. You're absolutely right. And this is, this is the crucial, very important point is that that machine basically replaces a sushi chef making the shari for you. Because this weights, cleans, and puts the right amount of cooking water. And this is, this is the most important thing. It's finished with the chefs that put their fingers, that put the phalange or the elbow or the hand Very or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's always different in every restaurant. This will allow you to really have proper control on your rice. Now, the machine is set up so you can easily change the settings. And here we've got three kilos of rice for 3.3 liters of water. These 3.3 liters of water will be added after the rice has been washed. So all together, you've got a little bit more water because the rice does absorb rice yeah. and water. The ri sorry, the rice does absorb the water during the washing process. Yeah, very true. Now, to start it, I'm going to very show you very quickly. If you've got, do you have a rice cooker or something we can put under? Yeah. Well, Dylan is going to get that. I'm just going to show you briefly. But basically, you need to put the rice cooker under. When you put the rice cooker under you can see that the machine goes on standby and then it becomes ready okay. to cook, to rock and roll. So, you've got that? Yeah? Cool, no problem. So we're going to show you and we're going to launch it and we're going to wash 3 kilos of rice. Arigato gozaimasu! So, this rice cooker, put it straight under and I'm going to press the start button and then you won't hear me because for about 10 or 30 seconds it will actually hoop take all the rice and it's a little bit noisy but it's short ready steady go the rice is over actually has been hoovered into the main washing units. Now, all the cleaning water is actually now going through and you can see all the murky water going out. Washing the rice is very important. When you train as a sushi chef, it takes seven years to train. The first three years, you clean the kitchen and you wash the rice with always cold water. If you use hot water or lukewarm water, the spores on the rice are going to open and all the dirt would clog up the rice. So the next washes will be completely pointless. So this is what that machine does. The first wash is very quick, second wash, third wash, and basically if you had to do it by hand, you would need to wash the rice at least 10 times to get the same result. And it would break so much more. Yeah, it would actually break the rice because when you are turning it with your hand, 
the grains of rice are going onto each other and sometimes they split open. If they split open, the starch releases and then you end up with a, basically a puree type of rice, very sturgy, sturgy rice. So, the machine is turning and the whole cycle takes about five minutes for three kilos of rice and we use about 20 liters of rice, approximately. So if you were doing it by hand, to get the same result, you would use about 100 liters of water. So, very good to use that machine, obviously, just for that. Um, machine is running for now, and that's it. And in about two minutes, we'll be finished, and everything will come out straight away in the pot. Which means that if you have someone starting in the morning, they just come in, put this on, press the start button, and then they can go and do something else, they come back five minutes later, the rice is cooked, they put it in the rice cooker, finished. So you're really gaining the time, but also the consistency. Now, Dylan, yeah. when it comes to cleaning the machine, yeah. there are different things to look for. Can you just take us through it, please? Yeah, basically on this machine, we're going to go through the M method. So you're going to go starting... Through the what, sorry? The, the M method. The so M. M. The M, yes. L the letter M. The letter M. Okay. So you're going to start on the electric motor. Come up to where the rice falls into your washing tank, mm -hmm. then come down onto your filter, your drain valve. This small little pipe that we're going to clean with the small black brushes that come with the machine, come back up to this window, clean out okay. the window into this box, come down onto this box, and this one too. So, ba so basically, what you're doing is um, to remember which parts to clean, yeah, it's just the M you are because. going That's my phone. You are going this way, this way, this way. And this way, like yeah. an M letter. Exactly, yeah. Now, on the machine itself, you've got all the stickers that shows you exactly how to clean it. Mm -hmm. Cleaning it is extremely important. You need to clean it on a daily basis. Not every part, but cleaning the machine is important. Like anything in your sushi kitchen, it yeah. needs to be honky dory. Very, very clean. So make sure you do that. Now, this is the last cleaning cycle. And as you can see, the color of the water is actually very clear now. So the rice is pretty much washed. Everything goes out, and in a minute, you can see the bar inside, it's not turning anymore because the rice is washed. And in a minute, the water, the cooking water, will start to be added before everything is actually spread into the rice cooker. So in a minute, you'll see the rice coming down. Now, for the cleaning, mm -hmm. You've installed about two or three hundred of these. Yeah, so three hundred in Europe. Yeah. In Europe, in the last uh, in the last year alone. <laughs> so you know the machine inside yeah. out. Of course. Um, do you? How how long does it take to actually uh, clean now, it? Now to begin day? with, I always said that you've got to take at least twenty minutes to make sure this is clean because this is going to be a really useful tool in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get to know the machine, you're going to take about fifteen minutes never less than 15 minutes to, just to make sure that everything in this machine is really, really clean. That's right. So, so you save time, obviously, on the rice washing and so on, but never forget to include in your prepping time the cleaning time as well for the machine. It's like a car, you know, you need to service it. It's like everything. If you want to keep it for a long time, that's no problem. Now, this has been on the market for about 20 years. Uh, it's everywhere, obviously in Japan, but also in America, and now in Europe. There you go. How nice is that? So, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah. So the whole rice and cooking water is in there, and we're going to show you the color of the water, because this is Italian rice. Italian rice has got a lot of dust and a lot of starch in it as well. It's quite dirty, so it needs to be washed thoroughly if you don't want to have the brown bit at the bottom of your, your rice cooker. Yeah. This is now completely clean. I don't know if you can see, but basically transparent water. If you try to do that by hand, it will take you at least 10 goes before you do so. Yeah. Do you want to quickly show us? Take it through the cleaning? Yeah, if you could, yeah. because yeah. it hasn't been done before. This machine is everywhere. Uh, in the world, literally, but there is no videos on how to, uh, to show you how to clean it. So please, take us through quickly. No problem, I'll take that away. 
Okay, so we're going to start, as I said, with the M method. So we're going to start on the blow motor. So you're just going to open up the blow motor, get all the rice grains out of it. There's going to be a bit of starch left. It's going to be just going to be powdered starch. So that's it. Uh, once you've done this, you're going to come up right onto the tank. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. So, just to show you, you open it up. This is really just going to be a couple of bit grains of rice. Yeah. Next step, as I said, you're going to come up to here, open the door, make sure you've always got something underneath because it's going to leak a bit of water. I always put a shabby box under, so if anything yeah. falls, then it falls in the shabby box. You don't mess about. And nothing so it breaks. And nothing breaks. Uh, so in here, you can turn this without it damaging the machine. That is no problem whatsoever. Okay. Uh, so the most important things is where the water comes out. So the, basically the roof of the tank. Mm -hmm. You really have to get the red brush that comes with the machine. Yeah. And come and get all, come and clean all in the top here. And then... So this is the red brush that comes with the machine and this is the other brush that comes to clean the pipes once a month or something like that. And then to just to finish off in here, normally I just get a, a wet cloth and just come really soft and really nice to the side so everything is nice and clean and shiny. Okay? So that's one here, one, two. two. And then just before finishing, you have the, the hole where the rice comes down. So this has got to be cleaned, no, right down here. So it's got to be cleaned dry with a, you know, like a towel, something. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna have a bit of powdered and a little bit of Starch. Starch, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, because of the humidity in the in the tank. So the first three steps are basically open this, tap tap. Secondly, open this, clean roughly the inside with the red brush, and then the tube where the rice comes out. Just give it a wipe. Then close the machine. So we've got one, two, three, and then give and it then a shower. Rinse it. Yeah, that's the shower. So. So you've got the cleaning part here on the machine. What Once do you, you do? do this, you can press the discharge valve, which is going to make the discharge with the valve drop. So I always have the shower box underneath. Cool. And then press feed water. So it's just, you see here, it's going to say 9 litres. We're on 9 litres of water per minute. So if you don't stop it, you'll have 9 litres of water in your box. But we don't need that much water to clean it, do we? 10 or 20 seconds, that's more than enough. So, so good for now. Press feed water again. And put the valve back on. Now, now. when you put the valve, very important. Very important. Super important. So you don't chop your fingers off. There's no sensors here. There are no sensors. So this valve does come up very slowly and it does tell you by blinking. So when it's blinking, just don't put your fingers in there. That's all. Now, so one, two, three. We gave it a shower and now we stop it. So always turn the machine off before you start always. doing something else. Okay, so underneath, as Manu said, this is super important, the butterfly nut underneath, okay? There is a little butterfly nut which you need to unscrew and the valve will come off. The valve is attached also to a filter and the filter, while well, Dylan is doing this, I'm just taking you through, but the, basically the filter will allow to filter any things that might have been dropped in there while people put the rice in. It could be a piece of fabric, it could be anything, you never know what's in there. Uh, one day we found a nail that came actually from the factory. So that actually stops anything from coming in. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, so as I, as I showed you, you have the, the valve yep. filter. Mm -hmm. and before putting it all back together, this part of the filter comes and actually sits in a small, uh, small ledge, I would say. Yeah. Uh, you really have to get in and clean, not only with a chopstick and sort of tissue like this. Do it like that. Just give yeah. it a good wipe to get rid of any potential starch that might have been in there. No. Just take it off and then. And then before putting everything back together, you have a small pipe that goes from the, uh, the tank to the lower drain box. And this has to be cleaned with a small brush that I normally bend to a 90 degree angle to make it just that big easier And to you get just in. put it in there and that's it. Then you put the valve back on that's and this. Is. So and make sure there's no rice on this, on this that's seal. That's right. So if you do that, it takes, you said 15 minutes. It doesn't take me 15 minutes to clean it. I clean it in five minutes. Yes. Once you, but at the machine. beginning, it takes you 15 minutes, but after it takes you really five minutes. So that's one, two, three, then four. And then the last thing you do is clean those two boxes. And by cleaning those two boxes, you can see that there is starch on it. And this is the rice starch. So you just put it in the water and clean it. And put that's the red it. brush as well. Dry it. Put it back on, 
Bish bash bosh. Job done. There you go. Now, anything else that we so need to mention? This is really the everyday cleaning. Um, it has to be done once a day. You don't have to do it twice a day. Mm. So just wait until the end of the day, uh, the earliest possible, obviously. Um, and if you're using Italian rice, it's a little bit more uh, yeah. starchy. Once a month, it's important also to clean these pipes here. So thank you very much. Just that pipe here, you've got the big brush, just put it under running water, pish bash bash, job done. Okay? Cool. Did you do the black pipe? Which black pipe? I'll show you. Ah, show me the black pipe. So, um, on the, between the two, the oh, lower yes. drain box and the higher drain box, you have a black flexible pipe. So, um, as you see, there will be the clips, same clips on all the pipes. So yeah. You just have to press on the clip, just you know, squeeze it off, and then hold what it you It comes off quite easily. Now, this, the most important part of the machine, again, is these clips. You make, when you put them back, you always put them pointing downwards. The, the, the only reason That's right. is, if you can explain on, yeah. the, on this side. Well, you always put it as it was, but there is a sticker on the machine. Basically, the clips always put, all, all are always downwards. That's all. Now, if you have any questions or anything on this machine, we can take you through it, no problem. Yeah. Come in the office, we're in London, we're in Paris, in La Rochelle. Come and see it and try it for yourself, okay? Uh, that's it. Well, we hope we answered any questions regarding that machine. The, you've got also two other models from yeah. the same manufacturers, which are much smaller. smaller and tabletop, but they don't do these three functionalities, which are stocking, stocking the rice, rice. Uh, weighting the rice, washing the rice, and also putting the right amount of cooking water. Good? Yeah. Cool. See you soon, and uh, happy sushi making. Happy rice cleaning. <laughs> Thank you.